Hi, darlings. Welcome back to another week. I'm very excited about this week's devotional, simply because there is a power in asking. So if you like to take notes and jot down a few things, I want this title for this week is God is waiting for us to ask. I've been kind of marinating on this principle for a while now. And check out what it says in Matthew 7, 11. If you know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Highlight that, circle that, underline it, put an asterisk by it, whatever you need to know, uh, whatever you need to do to remember this verse, it's ask him. There is power in formulating language about the things that we need. Now, God is the source of everything. And sometimes in our moments together, it's only a couple minutes, but I want to focus on some foundational theological truths. God is the source of everything good. God is the source of everything that we have, everything you see in the world and everything that you don't see in the world. God is not only the creator, but God is also the giver. He is the source of all good thing in, in this world. So everything that we have, everything that's been given to us is because God is gracious and good. Now, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, no, it's not Bianca. I work really hard, that's why I have my house. I work really hard, that's why I have my car. Yeah, but you didn't have to work hard for you to get up this morning because your heart is still beating. You didn't have to work hard for your hands to sprout. God created that for you. So, I mean, we can parse this back even further that God is the giver of all life and all things good. I know as you depend on God as your source of everything, there are four truths that I want you to hold on to this week. Uh, the first, everything is a gift from God. Nothing you have is anything that you've earned. It is a gift of God's graciousness. The Bible tells us in James 1.17, it says, every good and perfect gift is from above. That's why in the Lord's Prayer, the third, the, the third phrase starts off with the word give. What does it say? Give us this day our daily bread. Why? Because it's a gift. You can't earn it. And there's something almost freeing in that. Our good Father is giving us this gift. Secondly, there is nothing that you don't need that God can't provide. Yep, that's right. You don't know what you're going to need a month from now, a week from now, or tomorrow. But God does, and he's preparing us for that. The Bible says in Philippians 4.19, My God will meet all of your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Now, Paul was writing to Philippian church. They were facing so much oppression. They were giving to each other when the oppression came, and yet Paul gives this amazing word. My God will supply all your need. And I believe that's a word for somebody today. You are thinking, I don't know how I'm going to finish this project at work. I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent. I don't know how I'm going to pay my mortgage. I don't know how I'm going to afford this new car. You know what? God is going to supply all your need. Now, be careful. This is not health and wealth. Name it and claim it. I'm not saying ask for a Ferrari. He's going to give it because that might not be your need. That could be your want, boo-boo, but that's not your need, okay? He's going to supply your every need. Thirdly, God wants to give you everything you need. I said this earlier, Matthew 7, 11. If parents know how to give their children gifts, how much more than our Heavenly Father is going to give us those things that we need? God meets our very need. And here's the fourth thing, and this is important. He's waiting on you. What is he waiting on you for? He's waiting for you to ask. There are needs that you have in life, and yes, God knows the intent of our heart. God knows our quiet, still desires that languish in our soul, but there is power in asking. I have two beautiful stepkids, um, and I'm not a mind reader. There is something so beautiful, even when I know that they're wanting something or they're in need of something, we get to dialogue on what that need is, and I love to lavish them. Now, I am, I'm their stepmom. I work for an NGO. It's not like I'm a baller. But when I can lavish my kids, I love it. Our God, who has infinite resources, wants to lavish you with gifts. Now, again, I'm not talking about a Ferrari and a yacht. He wants to lavish you with what you need. Grace in this season, joy in this season, mercy, uh, long-suffering. What fruits of the Spirit, what gifts is he giving you in this season? James 2 says, you have not because you ask not. As you go into this week, begin to ask God what he has for you and stand there with arms open wide, wait in eager anticipation and expectation that our good and gracious Father is going to lavish us with gifts this week.